My name is Baby Bear, and today we're going to talk about aeroplanes. Aeroplanes? I don't know anything about aeroplanes. Let's ask Meg. Meg? Meg? Where is Meg? Oh, I think they left. They were talking about a trip and airport and from my Hi guys, my name is Meg, and today me and Bun Bun are at the airport because we're going to be talking about airports and aeroplanes today. Why do planes have wings and things? So that they can fly. So how do the planes fly? No, 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 no. I mean, really, how does a plane fly? A plane needs four forces to fly. Lift, weight, thrust and drag. Let's first talk about lift. A plane is very heavy. So how will it stay in the air? Because the airplane has specially designed wings, which are in the shape of an airfoil. It is curved at the top. Because of the curved top, the air at the top of the wing is much faster than the air at the bottom of the wing, making a pressure difference. This causes the lift. Force number two, weight. The lift balances the weight of the plane and that's how it stays afloat. Force number three, thrust. Thrust moves the plane forward. The plane has engines which give it thrust, just like your car. Force number four, drag. Drag slows the plane down. The plane is specially designed to reduce the drag. And now I know how the plane flies, but how does it turn? The pilot moves one part of the wing and the wing tips to one side, causing the plane to turn. Here's a fun fact for you guys. The wings of the plane are not one single piece. They are made up of many small moving components. By moving these small components, the pilot can change the direction and speed of the flight. Look guys, the pilot has moved the spoiler. This increases the drag and slows the plane down. Hey, look guys, the pilot is moving the flap. This changes the direction and roll of the plane. These are called winglets. They reduce the drag. Do you know any other vehicles that fly in the air? Like helicopters, hot air balloons. UFO! That is, UFOs are not real. Let's talk about helicopters now. A helicopter's blades are also shaped like an airfoil design. So when they rotate, it causes a lift. There are also some toys which are designed to fly like helicopters, like this one. Hey, I want to fly like a helicopter. But Naomi, you don't have a fan. Fan? I found the fan. But Mioni, that's a Japanese fan. Okay, so I'll be a Japanese helicopter. Guys, let's have some fun together. Let's make some paper planes and some paper helicopters. First, let's make a plane that's very simple to make. To make the paper airplane, take a sheet of paper. Then, fold it in half. Open it up and fold the corners. Then, fold it like this. Plane in half. Then align these two edges. Now flip it over and do the same on the other side. Now your paper plane is ready. Now let's give it a fly. How about a paper helicopter? We're going to be making a paper helicopter. For this, you'll need a 5x2 sheet of paper, a pair of scissors, a scale, a pencil and a paper clip. Take your scale and pencil and mark two lines around halfway. Now draw the lines. Divide one side into two parts and divide the other side into three parts. On this side, cut this line. And on the, this side, cut these smaller sections. Now, fold these lines so that they overlap. Now, fold these flaps in opposite directions. Now, make these sides stand. Now, flip it over and fold this a little bit. Then put the paper clip. Now your helicopter is ready. Now let's make it fly. Ok 
Hey guys, I hope you had fun with this video. Bye, see you for next video.